Oh, and I almost forgot. Oh, uh, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Dear God, not one of these again. Hello, this is McKinsey, bringing some more Dark Cloud! In the previous video, we pretty much completed the Sun Moon Temple, except for the final boss floor. And we pretty much completed all of Muskalaka. But, there are a couple things we need to do. First is get the Sun and Moon Signet. These are held by, first, Enga. Whoa, that was fast. I've heard from Bonka. Here! Sun Signet acquired. But really, Bonka trusting an outsider like you. I wonder what she's up to. Hmm? Hmm. What? Ah, now I know. You look exactly the same as... <laughs> yep, I'm sure you'll be able to stand up to even that genie. Good luck to you. Yeah, so, judging by this, yeah, everyone knows our father. And I guess our father is... Ooh, anti-curse amulet. No, our father was not an anti-curse amulet. Uh, our father was a bit of a badass. So... Next, we need to find, uh, where is he? Zabo. Where? Ah, there you are. Ah, there you are. I heard of all from the chief. This is the moon signet. Don't lose it. Moon signet. Very nice. Sun and moon temple is dangerous lately. Be careful. Okay, uh, and I saw that. Power powder. Uh, I'm quite curious. I, I have a lot of, I've been getting a lot of items and I'm wondering, there is one thing I'm missing. I'm missing some, uh, a witch parfait, I think. I haven't gotten a witch parfait, I think, at all in this area. Oh, it's dusk. I'm wondering, because, uh, I think I'll go double check around this area and see if I can find any extra chests like so. Ah, there you go. There's the witch parfait I was talking about. Um, anything over here? I don't think there's anything usually by the bones over here. Or any of the bones. Uh, so, I'll just double check the houses and see if there's any chests. I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like that was it from all I can find. There might be some more lying around and extra places, but that's all I could find for now, yeah. So, before we actually tackle on the final floor, what I want to do is complete the Diorama. So, let's get into it. So, first, let's remove all the houses I have currently placed on right now. Okay, now that everything is clear, let's start setting everything up. So, as I said before, everyone's houses here have the same requirement of being placed in front of their respective totems. So we have totem pole A, totem pole B, and totem pole C. There are, however, three characters we do want to look after because they do have additional requests on what they want their houses to be. So, let's look over those people first. First is obviously the chief's house. As for the chief, they specifically want to be placed near the Sun and Moon Temple. So once you have her placed down and the totem, we can go on to the next character based on the totem hole. And this would be the Prisoner's Cabin. Ron specifically would like to be facing the Rising Sun. So make sure that he is facing the correct way. And we have Toto's House, which because of the totem pole, we can actually place immediately right here. Next ones with other requirements are the Three Sisters House. They specifically would like to be next to the Oasis. After placing that down, you can then place Brooke's House and Zabo's House. Finally, we have the last totem pole, which is pretty stationary considering it has to be placed also right in front of Ungaga's House. So then you can start placing down Enga's House and Jibubu's House. So once you have this done, you can start fiddling around with things and putting them in the way that you feel happy with. 
Okay, that was a little bit more annoying than I would have liked, but I was able to fit everything in. <sighs> Let's go see the chief and get our reward. You did very well. The villagers are telling me to give you guys a reward. First, for you, Donatello. Yeah, he gets a new spear! Mirage! Next for you, boy with the green hat. Ah, diamond! Okay! Listen, the enemy you will face is strong. Good luck. Okay. Okay, so the diamond's very nice. Uh, let's check out the mirage one moment. Uh, mirage, mirage, mirage. Oh, probably the other way. One second. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. Is this maybe... Ah, this is stronger. Um... I think what I might do is I think I might upgrade the Scorpion 2 uh, to level 5 and then synthesize it and give it to the Mirage. Because... I think the Mirage is actually overall better. So I think that's what it actually upgrades to is one of the Mirages. Yeah, because that needs fire. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay. I'll just give it to the Mirage once I synthesize that. Okay, well, that should be fine. Uh, so, I think that's actually everything done now. Uh, let's head to the, um, Sun Moon Temple. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. One second. Because we need to fight the boss on that floor. Let's go. Okay, so, the Coffin's Chamber. Uh, see. Okay. Let's place the Sun Signet. Let's place the Moon Signet. Signet. Oh. I haven't heard this music for a while. Not since I think the, uh... Divine Beast Cave? When we saw Seta? As a big giant eye. Oh, it's a ghost! Whoever disturbs my sleep shall be punished by death. King's Curse. Honestly, this is probably one of the eh, lamest bosses here. Mecha Doji, the ancient king spirit, is possessed by the Dark Genie as well. Can you defeat him? Yep. Yeah, so... Ah! Oh, can't change weapons. He curse. He actually curses. Ow. Uh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, one second. Can I... If I switch to Meow Mix, can I actually hit him? No. So I think what we're supposed to do, if I remember correctly, is switch to... Donatello, and then use that, and then hit him with the strongest attack. Unfortunately, he's a little bit of a... Okay, uh, I'm going to switch to... There we go, my strongest hitting guy for a single attack. There we go. Okay. Switch back to here. 
Bada boom. Uh, and this is basically it. Bada boom. Back and forth. Back and forth. This is essentially the boss fight right here, folks. Thrilling gameplay. Luckily, I don't think in the next game, I don't think in Dark Cloud 2 they have bosses that are specifically immune to, uh certain characters. I think they have it where they have uh, weaknesses, but they aren't completely immune. So that's just annoying. Uh, having to consistently go back and forth is very annoying here. But it didn't take long because, I mean, Cheesecake's the boss. Oh god. It caught fire. How did it catch fire? Well, we opened the way, at least. Uh, I guess we can descend forth. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Dear God, not one of these again. Oh, I forgot about this. Although they have a very good uh, soundtrack playing right now. The Gallery of Time. And we'll be hearing more of this later on. This is such a... I love this soundtrack here. What a beautiful ship. Boon people are all born artists. This ship is a testament to that. Eh? Am I having another moment? Oh no! Now that the King's Curse has been broken, something is happening to the temple! Mega Dojin, get on the moon ship! That way! Run, run, run! It's a... Ha. <sighs> now, it may seem like a little cutscene, but I can tell you, it's more than that. Just you wait. Ah! Uh, oh, it's activating. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going to have to jump with a quick time event. Ah. Uh. I was doing so well. Oh. One second. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you actually hear that. There was a thing playing in the background, so uh, hopefully that didn't catch up in the audio. Let's try again, though. Uh, the second time I actually did that intentionally on purpose to fail. Oh. Oh, yeah, that time I didn't do it intentionally. Uh, try again. Okay. Let's see how many times this takes me. God damn it. Ah, darn it. That one mixed me up. That one messed me up. Oh, sweet. Okay, that didn't take me actually that long. And I got a topaz. Okay. Ah. Huh. Wow, that that really didn't take me long. Okay, that's 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 nice. Huh. Well, I'm glad that didn't take me too long. I mean, trying to fiddle around with the Georama took me long enough. I didn't want to do it even longer video recording. What is it? What's going on? I have no idea. Why is it showing these two species? I mean, I guess the cheap, but why Zabo?
Oh, I guess it's going to show everyone. What's that? It's the moon ship. It's literally a Viking ship, but with moon powers. Come on, let's move it. Take the helm. Here we go. To the ocean of stars and beyond. Two yellow drops. Yeah, yellow drops, an odd name for a town. However, the OST is magnificent. It's flying. You're right. That kid must be on it. That kid? Yeah, the one with the green hat and those beautiful eyes. There's something special about him. Oh, boy. Ah! Uh, there's Brown Boo Village. And this is, uh, Theo? <gasps> there's the moon ship! Donatello, Megadoji, good luck! And we get the reveal. They're rabbits! They were rabbits the entire time! Now, if you didn't know, according to the Japanese, there are rabbits on the moon. I can't remember what story or mythology it is, but... Uh, where... Oh, I can't remember exactly where it is. But, uh, yeah. That's why there's rabbits on this moon here, is because of the, uh, uh, Japanese history with it. Say, don't stare like that. People will think we're hicks. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, how often do people go to the moon? Not very often. And thus, we never ride the moon ship ever again. Welcome to Yellow Drop. I have heard the story from them on Brown Boo. These days, we have this neat communication system called CrystalNet. We get information fast. Unfortunately, the mayor is not here right now. But rest assured, I, Samba, will serve as your guide in place of the mayor. Please come this way. Can we hear the uh, soundtrack? Do we get to hear the soundtrack? Because this is not the soundtrack that I want to hear. I mean, it's a nice soundtrack, but not the one I want to hear. I've been waiting all game to hear this specific soundtrack. Out of all the areas, this has the best city soundtrack. In my honest opinion. Come on, Makadoji. I will give you a tour around the village. Where shall we start? Excuse me. Yes, it's me. Oh, Linda. What's up? Eh? Our date today? Yikes! Come on, I didn't forget. How could I forget that? No way, really. Yeah, sure, gotcha. I'm leaving right now. Be there in a flash. Uh, girl troubles? Wow, I'm so sorry, Mechadoji. I have an, uh, an emergency. I have to go right away or I'll be in deep. Bye! It makes sense now that they, uh, walk like that. Oh, they kind of hop. Now they're the rabbits. And... Ah, there it is. Oh my god. The futuristic tone of this is amazing. Uh, anyway, what do you say again? My name is Mania, a collector of rare moon items. I collect old items. Do you have any for me? Use item whisper. Ah, do we have any old items, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, we have this clay doll. What, do you want this? Whoa, cool. Where did you get that clay doll? An ancient figurine clay doll made by the ancient people? And this model is like totally rare. There's only a couple dozen of them. Can I please have it? Please? Uh, sure. All right! Yes! 
thank you very much. But, I see. I guess you can't, huh? Oh, I know. I'll give you my treasure in return. Here. We got the sun. Like the actual sun? Don't waste your breath telling me to give it back. I'm keeping this. This will be my new treasure. Thank you very much. Okay, so you might be wondering, uh, what is the sun? Sun is a weapon attachment. You can attach it, uh, I think it gives like, uh, let me actually double check, what does it give? Uh, sun, sun, sun. It gives 10 attack. Ah, solar power. Very nice. Uh, 10 of each element. That alone is very nice. And it looks like three, yeah, three of each uh, Slayer. Very nice. I'll actually be keeping this until I can get a times two slot. That would be well worth the times two slot right there. Like, amazingly so. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go now. Maybe in here. This is this the, uh... This is the, uh, I guess the, like, I guess the technician's bay, you can say? The inventor's area? The techno room. It's quite empty, though. Uh, ah. Uh. This is the factory that our boss is so proud of! What do you think? It's something, isn't it? I'm Leden. I'm in charge of this factory. I was told about you. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. Oh, Samba is supposed to be your guide. He's not around? Well then. I'll take his place and guide you. So I, I hear you need to talk about, uh, need to know about the sealing technique. That is a secret skill from ancient times used by our ancestors. Maybe our boss knows. Shall we go? This is a great factory our boss, leader of the moon people, has created. There is nothing you can't make here. Unfortunately, the boss is not here. Along with testing the new model, he's entered a contest. If it's urgent to see him now, go to the Colosseum. The Colosseum is straight ahead past the moon sea. However, the Moon Sea has changed recently. Monsters are looking all over now. Also, the structure of the Moon Sea seems to have been more, come more complicated. I'll walk you to the entrance of the Moon Sea. This way, please. Ah, oh, the soundtrack comes again. Oh, I love this so much. Oh. Beyond this gate is the Moon Sea, but then it's quite different from any sea you know. Recently, many monsters started appearing in the Moon Sea. Stay sharp and be careful. Various recovery and support items are sold in this village. Be fully prepared before you set foot in the moon sea. So long now. And he just hops away. So, that is the next zone we're going through. We're going to the moon sea. Fighting moon creatures on the moon. It's a shame they couldn't do more with the moon and like have like gravity kind of, uh, affect everything, but, eh. So, that will actually do it for this video. In the next one, I am actually going to probably be synthesizing a few more weapons. Uh, I'll keep the sun sword. I won't synthesize it just yet. Or the bone rapier. The bone rapier, I specifically want to do something special with that. But I'll start synthesizing a couple weapons and then have their synth spheres ready so then I can start upgrading these weapons. This I think I need quite a bit of fire for, so... 
and metal. Metal is going to be the most annoying for that one, which sucks. But if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And leave a comment down below. It would be very much appreciated. But until next time, see ya. And stay golden.